So anyway guys, I'm ready to just go and eat now. I just go and eat now. I, I'm ready to go and do some rice. I do some rice over here. I'm ready to just go and help myself to deliver content. But guess what? If that's what I'm doing, yeah? I'm delivering content, I'm making sure I can do a video as well. Here and there. I make sure that no matter what that I'm learning. I'm learning to just go and let it be now. I'm making sure that I can just do a little quick video, to do a quick IGTV video into my Instagram. <clears throat> and I can make sure I'm learning man. I'm learning how to become something more man. I'll make sure anyway, what I want to do is I'm gonna be man. I focus on understanding that I value my life man. I value my life man. I never hate anything man. I see anyway guys, if you want to go and do something great for yourself, then just go and fuck yourself in words, man. <laughs> I mean, words is the best way to fuck yourself. You understand? But every single day, that's why I've learned something. I've learned something nice for myself today. I'm learning different aspects in life. I'm learning different aspects. I'm, I'm learning different aspects of comedy too in life. I'm learning how to go and be a comedy star too in different ways. But if you understand straight away, now people who say fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, I mean fuck, fuck sake. Do you understand? We always fuck. I see so. Every single day. We always say fuck it, fuck. I mean for fuck's sake. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, understand? I mean for fuck's sake. I mean every single day. Get better fucking language, please. In my, <laughs> we have no other fucking words to say. So they say fuck it, fuck and fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, yeah, I understand you, man. I understand you. <laughs> I understand you. And I, I see how it goes, man. But guess what, bro? I understand that every single day I'm learning. I'm learning to become a star, man. I'm learning to become. Learn. I'm learning how to go and do great. I love it. I see Jim Rohn saying, "Isn't he fascinating?" I say, "I." <laughs> so that's how Jim Rohn talks. I. <laughs> I. <laughs> But that's a, See, so, every single day, that's guys, a joke on, want to go and perform, I mean, guess what? I mean, that's the biggest joke on Jim Rohn, and he understands what I mean. Oi! 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 I mean, guess what? I love you. I'm making sure I'm doing something new, yeah? Oi! <laughs> I mean, that's how you do it. I mean, that's how you do it, Broshi. That's how it is. But just a tone of voice, yeah? Just a tone of voice. And Broshi, guess what? Broshi, every single day, you have to learn how smart. I'm very smart. I'm very smart. I'm very smart. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> I love you. Broshi, now, every single day, you must understand that if I go and really, really dwell upon understanding that if anything is nice and beautiful for me every single day, every single day, it's always looking out for everything, man. If anything is nice and beautiful for me every single day, it's always looking out for everything, man. And you have to look out for everything in life. And you have to understand straight away, too. Enjoy your life, man. I mean, you have to enjoy your life. I mean, you have to be happier and happier and happier. But never because you want a woman. I mean, I mean, I mean listen to me. I mean, never be happier to get a woman. You know what I'm I mean, Never be happier to fuck a woman. Otherwise, I mean, never be happier to have a man in your life. I mean, never be happier to be around other people. I mean, never get happier to fucking impress other people. I mean, never be happier to make your mum proud or to make your dad proud. I mean, never make... I mean, never make anything happier other than yourself. So, I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, make yourself happier so that you can have a greater life for yourself. And it's never because you want sex. And it's never because of woman. And it's never because of men. And it's never because of mom and dad. And it's never because of fucking your sister or brother or other people or what they have. I mean, you're making yourself happier so that you can be happy. That's it. First, it's nothing to do with other people. I mean, understand? So, make sure you're always talking more anyway. And make sure that you're learning how to go and grow yourself, yeah? Because I'm, ma I'm making myself happier just so I can live a greater life. I promise you, it's never to have sex and it's never to fuck a woman. And it's never to do anything else other than to just be happier. I mean, so, promise you, that's the reason, yeah? I'm making myself happier to be happier. And it's never to be with them. And it's never to fucking impress other people. And it's never to impress you. And it's never to impress other people. And I'm not saying that for myself, I impress I to be happier. Because that's how it is. <clears throat> I mean, saying? Guess what, Roshi? Just make sure all the time that if you want to impress Jesus Christ and everybody, then just impress your word I am. I mean, impress yourself first. You understand? But guess what? I mean, every single day, learn how to understand that you need to understand that you need your word I more than Jesus Christ. I mean, you need your word I more than Jesus Christ.
Rosh, without your word I, then you never listen to your Jesus Christ. Rosh, if you have no word I, then you never listen to the Ten Commandments of God. You understand? Rosh, I want to teach you this. Rosh, the word I is much more important than the Ten Commandments. Rosh, Jesus Christ can teach you that too. And Jesus Christ says that I is more important than the Ten Commandments of God. You understand? Rosh, it is. Rosh, you must understand that Ten Commandments, I mean, what came first? I mean, did I come first or the Ten Commandments? I came first. I came first. I mean, just remember that, yeah? I mean, you must understand. I is always first. And you press your word I, and then you have everything around. Rosh, see, so, every single I mean, day I mean just be able to go and grow yourself, yeah? But focus on making sure that you're lifting yourself in ways that everything is growing in your life. And as you grow yourself, then you succeed, yeah? I have to go brush my teeth too. And guess what? I'd rather go and do that now. I want to go and just grip myself now and understand straight away. I've done my Instagram already. I'll make sure that I don't know I'm going to go grip myself now. And let it be that way. And then I can go eat and drink. And guess what, bro? It's more how it is. I have to grow myself. I have to grow myself every single day. I have to understand that I'm working right now to just go and upload content and upload content. I want to make sure I have everything on the day. And all I'm doing right now is I'm learning, man. I'm learning how to be a star, man. I'm learning how to understand that it's worth it that I never did go to over there to print more business cards, for fuck's sake. I let it be, man. I'm saving 100 bucks, man. I'm saving some money over here, and... I, I, I actually saved 100 bucks, man. I saved 100 bucks today as well. I mean, I saved some time. I saved five hours of time as well. And for fuck's sake. Otherwise, I mean, otherwise... Every I, single day, guys. I mean, otherwise, I'd be rushing. I'd be rushing everywhere, man, today. And that's fucking worse, man. But guess what, I'm never know. Brush, I would have learned something. I would have learned something. But guess what? I'm learning here even more. I'm learning here. I never want to put myself under that pressure. I never want to put myself under that pressure in that time and space, man. Brush, nah. Brush, it's worse, brush. I'm no worse. <sighs> brush, that's worse off for me, brush. Brush, well, guess what, brush? What's best for me to be with my word eye here? And let it be, man. I understand that I'm waking up earlier. I'm making up myself to be much greater for myself in words I'm looking to enjoy myself but the critical thing I mean the critical thing of this month in May is my audio programs this month I mean wow I mean audio programs is the best thing that's ever happened just on that best thing that's ever been happening to me ever since my word I met you know what I'm I can tell you right now but it's the best thing that's ever been happening to me in my word I met Roshu, I value doing audio programs like this more than my Instagram and more than anything on YouTube and more than my Mega Drive. <laughs> I value doing these audio programs more than fucking videos, man. I mean, why is that? I can do more audio programs for you than videos. Roshu, I mean, for fuck's sake, man. I mean, it's the best thing. I mean, I'm Roshu, I'm learning so much, man. I'm learning so much about how valuable this is, man. For sure, these audio programs are much more valuable than music production. And it's much more valuable than anything I've ever done, other than the word I. You understand? For sure, it is, man. For sure, Jesus Christ is in the word I. For sure, and now, since you understand how valuable audio programs are, for sure, it's much more better than videos, man. For sure, it's much more better than videos, but if you can understand that truly, for sure, you have to understand that. I mean, what did Jesus Christ say? I mean, Jesus Christ says, oh. I mean, Jesus Christ says, I agree with you. I agree. I mean, Jesus Christ totally agrees with me over here that audio programs is better than videos, and it's better than writing materials, and it's better than fucking writing programs, and better than public speaking on stages, and better than fucking going at festivals and having experiences out there. For sure. Talking words is better than experiences in life. Russia. Russia, that's all you have to understand, mate. Russia, that's very close to the word I, mate. Russia, now, anyway, making sure you understand that now. I understand that no matter what, that videos is a time and place where you may have to close the light or turn off the light, mate. But all your programs in the light, mate. Russia, you can be light and dark and you can do all your programs. Or she can be, you can be sleepy, or you can, I mean, you can look like shit. You can look like shit in the audio program, in a way of physical format. And you can look like shit in daily life and be doing an audio program. And nobody can really see the way you look. 
other than the word you speak. <laughs> you understand? I'm probably sure that you must understand that I'm probably sure writing. I'm probably writing. I'm probably sure better audio. I'm probably sure audio is much better. I'm probably sure understand now. I understand that. I say this over here. I agree, man. I save today. I save today via business cards. I save 100 business cards. I save. I save 1,000 business cards today, but I gave over 5,100 business cards, man. And I'm getting results. I have already, I already have 28 people today who have already seen my Instagram. I have 28 people who have seen my Instagram, but guess what? I mean, guess what? Mm. I want to show you something now. I want to quickly, I want to quickly deposit one of these nice and beautiful business cards, but guess what? Mm. Rush now, I understand something. I understand that no matter what, I can see straight away that I may just do some screenshots over here. But I see today, I can see the results anyway. Are, are my results? I will, so I'll give you, man. Brush it's never the fucking followers I have online, mate. I can see that, man. I brush it, although I understand that people value words. I understand people value fucking followers more than fucking saying words, mate. I can see that totally, man. I can see people value that you follow them much more than them speaking words to you. <laughs> oh, I see this, man. Rush is big, man. Rush, they all want fucking followers, man. Rush, they want so much followers, man. I mean, they want to see that lifestyle. I mean, they want to see how it fucking means to be popular with followers. But they never understand the words to get there. Rush, I mean, they value... I understand Jesus Christ. Rush, they value the popularity trend more than giving the words of popularity. <laughs> yes, I value giving the words only. I only value giving words more than popularity and more than anything else. I give more words. Brush, if you, I mean, give and you shall receive. Brush, the more you give, the more you receive. I mean, the more you sow, the more you reap. I mean, the more you talk, the more you have. Brush, it's so simple, yeah. Brush, asking you, brush, I mean, asking you shall receive. I mean, I mean, what do you have to do to ask? I mean, you have to, I mean, you have to speak words. I mean, you have to speak words to ask, man. I make you smart, Brush. If you just fucking listen to me, and if you just listen to my audio programs, man, Brush, you're getting smarter and smarter. The more you fucking listen to my pro, I mean, the more you listen to my programs, the more you get smarter, Brush. I'm not. I'm never here to fucking waste your time, mate. I'm never here to waste your time. I mean, I mean, am I wasting your time in this audio program, Brush? And at times, I'm never wasting my time. Personally, I'm never fucking wasting my time. I mean, if I'm having a laugh for fucking twenty minutes in an audio program. Now, I'm never fucking wasting my time. I mean, you are wasting your time. I mean, you are wasting your time. I mean, you saying? I, I never need you in my audio programs, mate. <laughs> I mean, what do you think you are, mate? I mean, what the fuck do you think you are, mate? I'm fucking here. I can laugh for fucking one hour and you can listen to me, mate. I never fucking... I, I'll show you something. I never fucking did invite you to my audio programs. I mean, you just fucking came here. I never fucking need you, man. I mean, if I can sound I mean, if you want to fucking listen, then listen. I mean, if you fucking complain, then fucking go somewhere else. I'm the boss here. I mean, if I want to fucking laugh one hour, I'll laugh one hour. I mean, and you can fucking listen to me. And that's it. I mean, if I want my fucking audio programs to be fucking just silence, then fucking I'm teaching you something in the silence, mate. You know what I'm saying? I'm teaching you fucking for something in life. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you understand that what's important is have peace and remedies, man. I mean, understand that. I never came to you. I mean, you came to me. You understand? I mean, you came to me, mate. So just respect. And respect everything. But that's how it is, man. Brush you. I never want to waste your time. I never want to waste your time. I brush you. I never want to waste your time. I brush you. But understand that sometimes I have a fucking good laugh, mate. You understand? I have a good fucking laugh. And you may fucking want some information. I'm giving you fucking information of my laughs. I'm giving you my fucking story, man. The whole fucking time, mate. I'm giving you fucking my story. In life. Like, I'm showing you how to fucking laugh. I'm showing you how to fucking be. I'm showing you how to talk with yourself all day long. I mean, even when I fucking laugh for one hour, man. I mean, go and understand that the key point here is laugh for one hour in your life, man. I mean, laugh every single day for one hour in your life. And fucking laugh more in your life. And make fun of people. I mean, make fun of people in words. Russia, in words. I mean, make fun of people in words. Bro, it's the best thing. Bro, it's the most fucking smartest way to be. 
I make fun of you and your fucking family. Always, because you fucking black people are there. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. I mean, get a fucking life. <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, I make fucking fun of you people. I make fun of white people. I make fun of black people. Because they're all fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm never a fucking idiot. I'm never fucking stupid, man. You know what I'm but that's the thing, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I fucking make a laugh out of myself, mate. Because I do better. So anyway, guys, I understand that you guys can speak through whispers to people. I am like, I mean, you can whisper to everybody. I mean, you can talk to everybody. I mean, you can just whisper and whisper. Just put the words in the whisper. I mean, put the words in the whisper and talk words through the whispers. And then you can talk to anybody, man. I can talk to my dogs over here. I can say, for example, say, hey, you guys are. I say, how, I say, how are you guys today? See, my dogs can say, we're yeah, over here, man. See, see, do you guys feel like coming in? I say, yes. I say, we want to come in, man. I say, how are you? I say, now, anyway, I say, see, that's, I see, that's something I have to do. I mean, guess what? I'm never cool. I see dogs over here. I say, hey, dogs. I mean, you guys are coming inside. Very soon. I mean, very soon. They can hear me. I can see they can hear me. The thing is, every single day. Yeah, I, I, I was very cruel. I was very cruel. The animal. Why is that? Because I was teaching myself. I see they're calling me to come inside, man. They're calling me over here. So you guys have to wait because I'm. Um, you guys have to be patient. I mean, you guys have to be patient because I'm doing my nice and beautiful shaving over here. And guess what? <coughs> well, actually, anyway. I mean, that's how I talk to dogs, man. I mean, they hear me straight away. <laughs> I mean, they hear me when I talk to them, I promise you. I mean, that's how God talks to you. I mean, what you do in life is go and look better for yourself. I mean, go and understand how to look better. Go and understand that no matter what, that you're learning how to just go and do your life, yeah? But they're so smart in business that I understand that they're looking at me more than anybody else. I mean, guess what? I mean, they're looking at themselves more than I. I mean, they're looking at themselves more than I. Or they're looking at I more than them. Or they're looking at them more than I. I see, guys, in life you have to use the power of contradiction. And if you say something, then have a good side, and that's it. I mean, the resolution in life is have a good side. I mean, you guys have to enjoy yourself in a way that you're learning how to go and do something to help yourself to succeed. And I'm becoming more attractive regardless of everything in terms of life. I'm making sure I have more than enough to succeed. I'm just doing the word I. I never, I never even fucking do them anymore. I'm sure I never did them. I did the word I. I do the word I. But when I was unaware, it was different. I was doing other people more than I. I was doing other people more than I, man. I was doing other people more than the word I, man. Brochure. I was giving them so much more attention than they deserve. Which that's what they say at the fucking. I understand Jesus Christ can see it. I mean, they give other people so much more attention than they deserve. Because they never have a word I. <laughs> that's what I see. Why don't you tell how it is? But how come they never give me, yeah, yeah, they give me more attention than I deserve. <laughs> Actually, right now, yeah. Which it is, man. <laughs> I don't remember the strategy, but I look at something different, man. <laughs> and right now, in terms of how my, I mean, right now, in terms of how my following is, I, I'm getting more attention than I deserve. I mean, how is that possible? I deserve more. I deserve more attention, always. So what is the deal? I make sure I now realize something. I'm having more attention, regardless. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be done. <laughs> I'm learning how to just shave myself into the best way. I'm learning that key arts of shaving myself. And I have a beard, always. I always have a beard. I have no time to fucking shave all my skin, man, on my facial hair. I always have a beard, man. And the beard is easy to trim. I mean, you just go to the barber every single one week and you trim the beard and poof, or it's fucking easily done, right? Or if those people have to shave fucking baby face every single day, they have to do it. 
Yeah. Every single day they have to shame themselves. I see how people, I see how people are talking about me in terms of how good I look. And they give me some words of encouragement here and there. But they can do better. They can do so much more to give you more words here. Watch that's the thing. I expect more from people and then they disappoint me, man. Which I expect more words from them. And then they I mean they disappoint me in the words. I mean, or else if you're expecting other people from, to do something, then it's the words that you want. I mean now the words is what you're expecting from other people. So never expect words from them at all. You never expect other people to give you words. And now you understand how to go do better. I never expect other people to give you words, and that's it. I mean, you never owe other people words. I mean, you owe yourself words. You never owe other people anything of words or anything in this life. Or actually, you owe it to yourself to give yourself those words. You understand? Or actually, that's all it is. For sure, that many people never understand that. For sure, they never communicate more. And they never talk more, man. But I'm lucky, man. I'm lucky. I want to summarize more. I want to summarize everything I've done, man. And I can see it in the word I, man. I mean, the I is the summary. I, I is the summary. I can see the exact summary right here. I just came into the word I, and that's it. I mean, that's my whole summary of my life. I mean, for fuck's sake. No other summaries than it. I is my whole summary. I, I'm a lie. I never talk. I mean, be careful, man. See, now that's something where I understand that I have to control myself over here. As I say, watch out for that. I mean, watch out for that, man. So you know, that's better. See that all I say, I mean all you say to your body is you say watch out for that and watch out for that. And say watch out for that and that. And watch out for these people. And watch out for that and that. And watch out for this and that. And be careful of these people. And I understand these people and never go there. Never go there and never go where you went before. And go to new places. And now I'm directing myself in other ways over here. I say watch out for them. Never go there. And make sure you go somewhere else. You go to different places. Oh, I mean, it's still too late for me to be in Manchester United, though. <laughs> I'm in Manchester United. I'm 28. I'm 28 years of age. I'm, I'm turning 29. You know what I'm saying? I mean, guess what? I mean, in around, I mean, around four hours time, I realize, in, I, realize in, I realize in around four hours time, I'm 29 years of age. But I can still make it to Manchester United for one year. I can still make it to Manchester United for one year. I can play a Manchester United until 36 years of age. I can play it. I can play. I can make it quick. And how? And how is it even possible for me to do that? Or it's possible. Or it's possible. I can make it. I can play for one year. I can give them a call. I can send them a business card. I can say, hey, pick me on your team. I mean, then guess what they do? They send me to the trials. And they send me to the trials. And they try me out. And guess what? They put me on the team. They put me on the pitch. On the first game somewhere. And they want to see how I play. On the real game. Or on the real game. And then guess what? I just play. I just play. I mean all I do on a day is I give the most fucking passing games. On a day. I mean or my role is just like look at what I did. I'll show you. I'll just cross my door to see this. But actually, my role in Manchester United is just give as much passing as my I can. Or just, I mean, just pass as much as I can. <laughs> or actually, and come back and move forward. Should fucking nothing else, bro. I, I can pass the ball. I mean, isn't I mean, isn't my job to score a goal? For sure, it can be. But is it really? For sure, fuck no. For sure, fuck no. I'm never playing soccer to score a goal. I'm playing soccer to fucking pass the ball, just like Luka Modric. You understand? I pass the ball. For sure, there's nothing else to do. For sure, free kicks. I can do free kicks. I can do free kicks. I can say, hey, give me a free kick over here. But I have to be really good before I even ask. See, Magdalene is saying, oh, got there. I mean, he loves this a lot. <laughs> Thank you. I have to top Magdalene. I have to do a hand of God too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I try, I'm not sure. I will try on the corner. I mean, oh, I mean, guess what? I mean, they have hand technology today. I mean, they have hand technology. You know? I mean, guess what? <laughs> it's the funniest thing, but guess what? I mean, that never repeats itself. I'm pretty sure it never repeats itself. But guess what? It can repeat itself in Daniel Voyage. <laughs> I 
Дай булочку два. Very smart. I mean, guess what? Roger, that's all I do on the pitch. And guess what? I say, I say on the, I say on the actual interview. I mean, I ask Jesus Christ and Madonna and everybody to see. And they interview me and they say, what made you come to the Manchester United? I say, Pasatane! I say, well, I mean, what do I mean? I say, Pasatane Gohimwich. I said to him, I said to him this and I said, Pasatane! I was all like, guess what? Roshan, this man, I mean, this man over here. I said, <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, this man is someone who in my life, I'm Roshan. Roshan, he needs to come to see me, mate. Roshan, I need to fucking teach him some lessons on the pitch, mate. And guess what? Roshan, it's more how I feel. And then I got that. If I do that, which is the funniest thing. But they never get that. Probably should never get my joke, right? Probably should never get my joke. Probably should, but guess what? Probably should get, they do get it. Probably should, they do get it. Because I have a fucking interview here. I can say it. But you guys get me in terms of the sermon people can get what I'm understanding about this. Probably should they understand me over here, man? I mean, when I say, PASATA I mean, it's like, it's, I mean, it's like, your English people are saying to your baby or to, I mean, you say to somebody, oh my, I say, oh my God, Jennifer! So we do it, Jennifer! I mean, Jennifer, let me get the corner, Jennifer! I mean, why are you looking at me, Jennifer? <laughs> I mean, you can imagine Zlatan, Ibrahimovic, and me with, I'm, I'm the coach of Zlatan, Ibrahimovic. I say, but Zlatan, it! If my dog looks at me like this on the pitch and he's saying, What the fuck do you want, man? I say, I say, Pavati Kwanans, not that day! I mean, this way, I mean, it's like, I mean, I mean, I mean his fucking facial reaction here. I mean, he fucking hates me, man. He fucking hates me as a coach over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking hates me as a coach, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's the funniest thing, man. But else, anyway, so what I do is just funny aspects of life like this, and I explain myself differently. I mean, it's just the funniest thing, man. So what I do now is a little bit. Make sure I have more than enough success all the time. But guess what? I mean, it's fucking cold around here, huh? So I'm never cold in my life, mate. Oh, I have to put a jumper on, mate. Oh, and guess what? A little bit. <clears throat> and for fuck's sake, mate. My, I'm a, my, I was a little bit away. I see fucking my time in fucking Sydney is very, very cold, huh? And what the fuck is the degrees out there, man? Oh, I have to see this. I, see, but I, see, I mean, let's have a look at the degrees of fucking shit. Um, let's have a see. I have to see this. I have to see this. See, fucking. I mean, let's have a look. I fucking load the weather, man. See, with the weather, man. See, the weather, man channel. I see, fucking hello. I say, really? I say, really? I mean, is that your first words, huh? I mean, you say, fucking hello first. I said, really? <laughs> I said, 13 degrees outside, huh? I said, it's fucking cold around here, man. I'm never cold, mate. I'm never cold. But a little bit of I'll give you a fucking sun for the rest of your life, mate. In Alice Springs over there, man. <laughs> I said, Chopper Weatherman. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, he's fucking funny over here. And he says, I said, you fucking people in Canberra. Say, so, oh, you fucking druggos. I say, you're fucking on their fucking tits and watching pornography and fucking drug addicts. <laughs> fucking drug addicts. <laughs> and they're fucking drug addicts, man. <laughs> I, mean, I see, I see fucking, this fucking idiot over there in fucking Adelaide. I see Calabunga, dude. I see fucking chop. <laughs> fucking shark, man. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> ah, that's fucking funny, man. I said, hey, I see Perth. I see you fucking far away, man. I see you fucking keep going over there, man. I mean, fucking never come back to it. <laughs> I see, I see other springs. I see, I give you a fucking forecast for the next fucking thousand years. I see, fucking here you go. Fucking, fucking sun for the next fucking thousand years for you people, man. I mean, it's going to be fucking hot. I mean, you understand? Well, there's no fucking rain for you people. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, guess what? I mean, I understand this way. I understand this is fucking funny, but I'm doing better now. I see, I see, oh, uh, I see, what does he say over here? I see he goes, where? I mean, what does he go? I see, I see, Darwin! I see, there's a fucking cyclone coming on Darwin! <laughs> I see fucking cyclone Tanya! <laughs> 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 Fuck, <laughs> see, fucking, shh, fucking, shh, shh. <laughs> I mean, why does he say that? I mean, why does he say that fucking cyclone is going to Darwin? Because back in the 1900s, a fucking cyclone came to Darwin. And fucking, I mean, the fucking cyclone fucking did destroy fucking all that fucking. Nice and beautiful fucking buildings over here. And fucking 10,000 people have to evacuate themselves, man. And I learned fucking history here. I was just going to see this. I learned some history here at fucking Darwin. I went to Darwin and I seen that happen. <laughs> I've seen the fucking history in Darwin over there. I've seen fucking devastation over there. In the, I see fucking devastation with fucking cyclone over there. I see that fucking cyclone was going fucking up ways or some shit and it fucking came backwards. <laughs> I see what the fuck. <laughs> I see, hey, I see anyway. I see Cyclone Tanya over there, man. <laughs> I see fucking Tanya. I see fucking, she lives fucking devastation over there in fucking Darwin. I see, is your name Tanya today? I, look, I say, look at what you fucking done in fucking Darwin over there, for fuck's sake. I see, I never fucking want to find myself. I mean, guess what? I see fucking, I see a fucking tornado over there in fucking Texas, around there. I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, that tornado thing. <laughs> I mean, that fucking tornado keeps fucking coming back over here, man. I mean, fucking... I mean, why do you fucking stop fucking even doing that shit for? I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, that fucking tornado comes out fucking first, and he fucking leaves. I mean, what the fuck should you leave for? <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, for fucking... I mean, that's a Lisa, fuck. I mean, that's fucking... Cyclone fucking tornado Lisa over there, for fuck's sake. <laughs> when it can be a Lisa and a Risa and Lisa, fucking shit. <laughs> oh. I mean, guess what? I mean, if you're going to fucking give it a name, then give it fucking a name. Pete Stevens. For fuck's sake. Say so fucking Pete Stevens over there. Say so fucking, he always comes over there in the tornado. Say so you fucking Pete Stevens fucker. <laughs> <laughs> See what the fuck is up for your ass? Come on. <laughs> I understand. I understand how to do comedy, right? I mean, it's fucking hilarious, man. I promise you. I can see it. I can see all this. If you want to do something to help yourself, then love yourself, man. I mean, love yourself and understand that you deserve a great life, man. Haha, <laughs> I see Chopper Reed, yeah. <clears throat> I see that, I see that, but listen, I say Chopper's fucking strong, man. I mean, I mean, the guy fucking gets some stabbing wounds, man. I never do that, though. I never fucking do that. I never get, I mean, this guy wants to stab me. I fucking confuse his ass in fucking Bruce Lee style in fucking that prison, man. Are you trying to do war? Oh, I like fucking kick his ass. <laughs> Fuck me, dead. I kick his ass. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, you ain't fucking standing with me, cunt. <laughs> I said, hey. I said, Chopping can fucking have a hit, mate. I mean, he I mean, he can fucking take a hit. I mean, although, 
I mean, he can actually receive a hit, man. I mean, imagine you're Chopper Reed, man, and you're in jail, and you're never in jail, but let's just say you're Chopper Reed, for example. But you're doing better than Chopper Reed. But are you really? I mean, guess what? I mean, just realize this. I mean, let's say Chopper Reed, and let's say you're Chopper Reed, and somebody fucking comes up to you with a knife and fucking stabs you 13 times in the fucking prison. And you're fucking still alive. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, yeah? Man, is it 13 times? Or is it around 13 times, man? I mean, for fuck's sake. Oh, I mean, it's around 20 times, for fuck's sake. I have to find a number. But the thing is, he survives that fucking stab wounds. I mean, what you never do is understand straight away that you guys are never chopper when you guys are Jesus Christ. You understand? I mean, you guys are the word I, really. I mean, you guys are the word I. I'm saying choppers up there. I see, I see, I see that, I see that, but guess what? I guess so. I realize these people are gone from them, people. I mean, they're actually getting good, mate. They're getting good. I'm gonna say they're staying away from trouble now. I see that, I see that place, I see that place is gone, mate. For sure, that place is gone. I see trademark over there. I see trademark, I realize there was a nice, beautiful club there. But guess what? I realize the DJ there? I mean, fuck no, man. Actually, that's never a club to DJ with. I, I for sure, I went into that nightclub back in the days. Yeah, I, I do. I, I understand. I remember I was on the DJ booth. I didn't want to be on that fucking DJ booth. I've been there. I've been there. And guess what? I, I remember. I remember. I love I love, I love everything, man. But guess what? I mean, it's more how I understand how that nice and beautiful tone goes. But in Scary Canary, I mean, I mean, I mean what's so different about Scary Canary and Trademark? I mean, Trademark is different, isn't it? It's a little space. And there's fucking couches around town. I mean, I mean guess what? I mean, Trademark's more classical. I mean, Trademark has a better fucking venue. Yeah. Which is a better fucking venue. But Scary Canary is fucking more wild, man. I mean, Scary Canary is fucking more wild over here. I mean, Scary Canary, there's no fucking couches there. I'm fucking, I mean, there's a fucking... I mean, there's fucking just chairs and fucking stools, man. And you fucking, it's like a pub over there. Uh, I mean, you fucking play this and fucking boom, boom, boom. And there's fucking two big speakers over here, and just fucking play, man. Russia, although, where is it better though for me? Russia, personally? I'd rather fucking play at Scary Canary. <laughs> I'd rather fucking play my music at Scary Canary than Trademark. I promise you. I mean, fucking Trademark is more fucking Dead Mouse music. I promise you. I mean, why Dead Mouse music? I mean, Dead Mouse music is chill music. I mean, it's chill music. But guess what? Well, she is. But guess what? I want you to say something. I want you to say deserves better than that. But it's more chill music. I mean, it's fucking chill music there. I mean, I mean does Zednas play chill music today? Well, she fucked you. But I play, I play, I mean, to play techno music there, in the fucking trademark, I mean, guess what? I mean, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no there. I never fucking play techno music there. I never fucking play, what else? I mean, they're all fucking watching me, man. I mean, I don't fucking play energy music there. I can't play, te I, I can't play, you and I, you and I, I, I say, Dead Mouse can hear this. I mean, Dead Mouse can hear, you and I, you and I, you and I, you and I, uh, uh. I mean, that can fucking go to fucking trademark, man. I mean, I can play a trademark over here, man. I mean, I can fucking sing and play some songs, man, over there. Whereas Dead Mouse say, fuck it. I say, he wants to go to trademark. I say, Dead Mouse. I said they fucking did close trading up five years ago. <laughs> so, too late, mate. I mean, too late for you. For that one. I mean, you're coming with me to Tomorrowland. I mean, that now. I mean, you come with me to Tomorrowland. I'll take you. I'll never take you. I'll bring you there. <laughs> I said, I'll give you the golden ticket. I'll give you, I have a golden ticket for you. I said, Dead Mouse, I, I have a golden ticket, Charlie Top, I have the Charlie and Chocolate Factory ticket to help you to come to Tomorrowland with me. I mean, I mean yeah, I'll give you some cheese. I'll give you some cheese. I mean, bring your mouse hat. I'll give you some cheese as well. 
<laughs> and that's funny. I guess so. And that's the funniest thing I've ever done, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, Avicii is asking, is it able to be Avicii music there? A trademark? I mean, fuck you. Yeah. I mean, fuck you. Yeah. I mean, Avicii music, I mean, fucking house music a bit, man. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, of course. I mean, I can imagine I.O. a trademark. I mean, for fuck's sake. Ah! Oh, I can see it, fuck. I mean, hey, I mean, fucking cigarette inside. I mean, for fuck's sake. I can see the cigarette and fucking do, 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 for fuck's sake, and like this, but they're all fucking chilling and they're all fucking, like watching, they're all watching I.O. like this. Ah, I mean, I can imagine this, man. I mean, Trey Marco, Fitch Kumatu. But they fucking, but they fucking have no taste in music, man. They have no taste in music. Like, guess what? I mean, that's more house music. I mean, they have taste for house music only. I mean, you, I mean, you guys have fucking taste for house music only. Actually, actually you, you, I mean, you guys never understand I.O., you know? You guys never understand who he is in life. I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> we fucking want to play some music around here, man. I mean, honestly, we want to go to I.O. fucking venues around here, man. Like Scary Canary. Oh, she fucked me dead. I mean, I.O. can play at Scary Canary. I mean, fucking cigarette over here. <laughs> fucking shit. I mean, fucking... We go to fucking play the music techno shit around here. And for fuck's sake, uh, fucking yeah, and it's a fucking pub over there. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking pub, alright? <laughs> We're going to fucking play techno. And for fuck's sake, and fuck you all. <laughs> I'm not a cigarette smoker, but just do better than uh, I mean, just do better than what I said. <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, that's why. <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, house music at Scary Canary. My brother should fucking play whatever you want. <laughs> Scary Canary. I mean, classical music at Scary Canary. Oh, I mean, never fucking play Scary Canary classical music there. I mean, guess what? I mean, yes, you can. I mean, you can play Scary Canary classical music, but you can play whatever the fuck you want over there. I mean, over there, fucking, you can play whatever you want. I mean, that's all it is. <laughs> and Scary Canary can hear me. I'm, I'm coming very soon, Scary Canary. I'm coming very soon. I'm down in the middle of voyage. <laughs> oh, I mean, I saw fire. Who said that? I see I.O. says I was on the fire at Scary Canary. I said, I say that too. I said, I was on a fire at Scary Canary. I said, oh, I can imagine this, man. Oh, I mean, oh, I, mean, I, I see I've died on Topia too, man. I see I've died on Shannon McKill as well. But guess what? No. <laughs> I, I get one set. I get one set, I go fucking around Australia with that one set, which is seven hours long, and I fucking boom. Just a Danny night. Just a Danny night. Just a Danny night. I mean, I say IO loves the gay club. I mean, IO, I understand IO loves the gay club in Melbourne. Oh, I mean, fuck yeah. But if I can put the cigarette there, so, so, do, 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 <laughs> fucking, these people fucking having sex over here, I say this fucking idiot is fucking on the fucking drugs, man. <laughs> it's fucking dead. I mean, fuck me dead. And lasers everywhere. I mean, fucking pumping music, man. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. I mean, this is something. But guess what? I mean, that's more fuck, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, as on a fight. I mean, I mean, as on a fight at the gay club in Melbourne. I promise you, <laughs> I promise you, fuck, and that's going off, mate. <laughs> I see this, man. I can fucking see this, man. Oh, I, can, I cannot wait, man. Ooh. I mean, and, and Donald Topia. Oh. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. I can imagine. I can imagine, but guess what? I can imagine Avicii also at the nightclub in the nice and beautiful gay club over there and playing Avicii music over there. I mean, why not? I mean, fuck yeah. I mean, you can, I mean at the gay club, I mean, you can play whatever you want. Oh.
I've never seen Dead Nas have the game come in Melbourne. <laughs> I mean, Dead Nas, what the fuck are you waiting for? <laughs> I mean, go to the gay club in Melbourne. <laughs> I mean, guess what? I hear, he, I, I see that he's been there. I said, "What the fuck are you waiting for again? I mean, why don't you go again?" <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I mean, he feels that he never has to go again. I mean, he feels that he never has to go there again. I mean, come on, man. I mean, make some techno music and go over there. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I mean, then else? I mean, make some new techno music and go to the gay club. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, then else? We make some new techno music and test pilot. So test pilot. <laughs> and bring my uh, bring I uh, say bring mousetrap to the fucking gay club Melbourne. And say fuck you. <laughs> so I say come on man. So IO, I say IO agrees with this. <laughs> so then now say IO agrees with you to go to the gay club in Melbourne with me. I mean that's it. I mean, I can be part of your mousetrap label. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you something. Because that's different. But imagine, I can fucking be his... Oh, I can be something mousetrap. I can be a mousetrap label. I can, be, I can make techno music. Haha. <laughs> I say, ooh. So that I can have two labels and more. Haha. <laughs> So he's saying, yeah, he has to go now, but he has to go now. <laughs> but he has to go, mate. Oh. See, there's so much to go, and there's understanding, I understand that no matter what, but if you guys are listening to me over here, I'm having a massive conversation with myself over here. I'm learning something, man. It's underground, man. <clears throat> for sure. Now, as I go and grow for, for myself over here, I'm learning, man. I'm learning how to be much more. Ooh, ah. And guess what? I'm not as man. I have plenty to go, man. I was, my career is just starting now. Ooh. Whereas well, they're going to be teachers at. Caramel High School, but really, so should they? If they're going to be teachers at Caramel High School, they're going to be security guards and fucking waivers and bartenders and fucking concreters and tradies. Well, I'm fucking traveling the world playing music and fucking playing for Manchester United and fucking life coaching all over the place and fucking acting on screens and fucking. Doing my nice and beautiful comedy shows around town and singing concerts around the world. And with the famous people. Well, they're fucking teachers at Cameron Madden High School. You know, for fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake. I mean, for fuck's sake. Oh, I can imagine being at Cameron Madden High School for the next 40 years. I say it's a fucking shit life, man. Oh. And yeah. I mean, for the next four years, for the, I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, two weeks holiday per week. I mean, there's, for, I mean, for me, I never do holidays, but for them, I mean, they get two holidays, I mean, they get two weeks fucking break every fucking year. Oh! I mean, fuck me, dude. I've been, I've the best karma, man. What I was saying, I'm just grooming my nice and beautiful nose in here. I'm posting on my beautiful, let's say, <coughs> scissors into my nose to cut out the nice and beautiful. I'm cutting out the nice and beautiful hair from my nose. And why is that? Because I see some hairs, man. I'll be careful now. I'll be really careful. And guess what? I mean, just understand this. If you guys want to grow, you have to do better, man. I just trim my nose. I just trim a little bit of my nose every single day. <clears throat> and I trim my fucking nail clippers in terms of my nails. 
and also do my eyebrows daily. And this way I can make sure to look good and good for myself. I never waste time because I'm talking to you, mate. I never waste some time for this. But I'm ahead of the game, man. I realize, how do I wake up earlier? I talk more words. I talk more words, I lie. But that's how I do it. Which the key to waking up earlier is talking more words. Which now that's something where I was so lazy. I was lazy. I wake up at 8 a.m. and went to bed for another hour. Which I never I, I never had to sleep, mate. Never did have to sleep, you yeah. know. Never fucking did have to sleep. But I just went to close my eyes and I slept away one hour. Which that's a fucking waste of my time, mate. Why should I understand I was able to. I'm trying to approach now. I live there like. I make that time back in communication skills. I make it fucking back. Right now, I make all that time back I lost. Back. Because I win only. Never lose. I never lost. I never lost. I make it all back now. Make all that time back with my words. And for fuck's sake. I never lose time, mate. I never lose who I am. I'm just doing I, man. I'm doing the word I. <clears throat> That's how easy, eh? I mean, if you want to look good, then it's the best decision for you. I mean, the best thing you can do is look good. I mean, go and understand straight away that anything that I do is I do greater. Which if you show me more value, they're more into you. If you show me more value. And if you fucking constantly want to say, Danny, I want to send you this message, man. I want you to see this. I want you to see this, man. <clears throat> I love you, Danny, but guess what? I want to show you this nice and beautiful ebook every year. And what is it, man? I mean, that's it. I mean, show some value, mate. But like, most of the people on the planet never want to do that for Danny Milovoyevich, man. I mean, I mean, they never deserve to talk to Danny Milovoyevich, mate. I mean, they're never trying, mate. I mean, they never tried to talk to Danny Milovoyevich, mate. I mean, they never deserve Danny Milovoyevich, mate. You understand? Know I send them fucking all these quotes and all this, man. First name, the person they never want to try to do. First name, they never want to try doing the same thing, man. First name, they want to do it. First name, they never, first day, first day never care about the fucking words from Danny Milovoyevich, mate. First name, they never care about this, mate. First name, have words from other people. So really? So really? Haha. <laughs> I'll say you guys can have your words together. Haha. <laughs> we go ahead. I never need your words. I don't know you. Anyway. I mean, as I grow, I'm just cutting my nails, guys. And that's what you need to do, mate. I mean, every fucking day, cut your nails. Because your nails need to look cleaner and cleaner throughout time. And as I grow myself, I remember four years ago, I fucking look at myself in the mirror. I was fucking fat. I was fucking eating meat. You know what I'm saying? I was a smoker. And for fuck's sake, I was starting to groom myself as well. And it's around, or as that is around, or as I'm, I'm, I'm honest, I'm honest, yeah. Or as although I woke up one day as well, I said, fuck, I need to start grooming myself now. I need to fucking start grooming myself now. I'll show you as crazy as I'm fucking here, in this fucking room. I said, I have to fucking groom myself one hour a day. I said it to myself, I have to groom myself one hour a day. I start to fucking groom myself and I start to shower and I start to exemplify all these fucking new fucking techniques for combing eyebrows and for fucking shaving myself. Oh, I mean, fucking so much words, man. I mean, so much to do from that point to this point. I mean, it's fucking loads to do, man. Oh, yeah, fucking one step at a time, man. I can imagine how much, I, I can see now. I see now how much that I can do. I can see now how much I can do. But when you're unable to see how much you can do, then guess what happens? Then it's the most difficult thing. When you're unable to see how much you can do. I can see how much I can do though. I mean, how the fuck do I do that? I do it for calculator, mate. I do it for calculator. And I write all the numbers down. I say, this is how much time goes into this. And this is how much time goes into this. And this is how much time goes into this, mate. And I see exactly how much time I speak in audios, in my life. I see exactly how much time I do anything in my life, mate. I promise you, and that's it, yeah? So as I grow myself, I make sure I'm doing a great job for myself. 
And as I exemplify a bit away, mate. So that means that I go and do better, mate. I have to go and show myself here to go and do a life coaching video also tonight. I'm gonna be both. I can do one straight away. I can do a life coaching video and let it be, and then fucking in the morning, mate, and let's just go fucking do this, man. Actually, it's coming up, though. Actually, it's coming up, so for fuck's sake, it's already 9 o'clock, man. So, guess what? I have to wake up in 12 hours. I have to wake up in 12 hours, and if I can get the Uber all the way to the fucking Mount Bridger, I just go with my shoulder bag, I go with my shoulder bag, I bring my new clothing, and that's it. I just lay at the door. And then, way at the door, I just be at the door, and I'll be patient, I'll be patient while talking to my audio program, I'm never wasting my fucking time, I'm never wasting my time here. And I'll make sure I record all the fucking conversations, and the money, I mean, how do I receive the money now? I said, I received the money in my wallet, I put the fucking money in my wallet. I put all the money in my wallet, mate. What should I see? What should I see? then, from that point, I realize if my wallet's too full of money, I put it in my pocket. I put it in my fucking pocket. I put, my fun, I put in my fun pockets. I'm gonna be right, I'm gonna one. Well, should let it be that way. And then if anybody wants to come in, I say, hey, I say, you guys have to give me 200 bucks to get in. I say, I say, how are you? I say, have a seat, but just make sure that you guys give me your money first. I mean, first give me the money and then you can see. So anyway, and then let's just do that nice little seminar. So how are you guys today? I say very good. I say thank you for a very, I mean, thank you guys for nice and beautifully coming to my event over here. And guess what? I mean, you guys are going to have a nice and beautiful package from me today because I have so much to give you. I have so much more, I have so much more knowledge than what you have today. So I want to fucking add you all that knowledge because of your money and what you gave me. And I want to do it for you today because I understand you guys deserve it. I mean, is that fair? I mean, is it fair for you to be able to go have a great life because Danny Malloy gave you some words today? Of course, there's no fucking scams today. But if you fucking never feel happy with Danny Milvoj today, then ask for your money back. I give you fucking money back if you're never happy with me today. Okay, I mean, it's a deal. I mean, it's a fucking done deal. I mean, fucking yay! I fucking give money back guarantee today. You understand? Know if you're fucking happy with me, then just fucking leave, please. You understand? Know that's so easy, yeah? Well, if you're never fucking happy with me, then just fucking come here and give me that nice and beautiful tonality of what you want from me, personally. And I never ever do anything else other than making sure I give them that nice and beautiful knowledge. And guess what, Portia, their money is mine forever. Portia, their money is mine forever, even though if I fucking say, I give you money back guaranteed today. Portia, their money is mine forever. Why should you? Guess what? I'll make sure I come to agreement with them and I keep their money forever. But I make them happier because I give them money back. But for some fucking reason, they never want to fucking listen to it, in my information. And guess what? I don't give them the money back. <laughs> but I keep the money. I make sure I sit with you. I sit with you. And I mean, listen to me. I mean, I mean, you, sir. I mean, I mean, you want your money back. I mean, listen to me. I mean, me and you are going to sit for one hour together. And we're going to sit for one hour together. And I'll give, give you some extra knowledge. I'm going to give you some extra knowledge for two hours. I mean, you want two hours or one hour? I give you a private, I'll give you some more hours for that. I'll give you some more hours and make you a happy customer. <laughs> make you happy customers. <laughs> I mean, guess what? That's the way. I mean, keep the money. I mean, keep the money. I mean, never ever give them back the money. I mean, they gave you the money. I mean, they gave you the money already. But what you do is you say, sorry, sir. I mean, hold on. Or sorry, madam. I want you guys, I want you guys to understand. I understand this. That there may have been a woman who does that to me. But guess what? I mean, Listen to me. I'll talk to you for one hour, or two hours, or three hours. After this, I'll talk to you via the phone. I'll talk to you via a phone call, or we can sit down, or you can come for dinner with me. I mean, what do you want? I mean, what do you want? I want to talk to you, personally. I mean, we're going to talk together, but the $200 is mine for now. I mean, are you happy? I want to talk to you. I want to solve your questions more, because you look like someone who needs more help. I mean, for fuck's sake. I keep the money, man. I see Jim Rohn saying, Fucking done deal. <laughs> I say fucking done deal. I say look at me. So look at me that way. I say I mean hey, she gives me two hundred bucks, I give her three hours extra on my time. But they fucking work for eight hours for two hundred bucks. I may be working for three hours with her, but I'm growing in that situation. And I'm recording the situation. I'm recording the audio too. But unfortunately I'm never fucking losing my time here. <laughs> I'm fucking increasing my time here. <laughs> 
There's no fucking money back here. <laughs> I, I could say there's money back. They say, yay! See, welcome to Canada. <laughs> I mean, how's it? I'm Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I mean, how's this? I hate to say it, man. When you went to Canada over there, I say, hooray! Welcome to Canada. <laughs> See, Canada. Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, guess what? I mean, why not? I, I love Canada, man. I love Canada, man. But guess what? And the thing is that no one, I mean, no way did I get the money back. I, I say that I get the money back, but I give them words instead. <laughs> I give them words instead. Which is my money forever. Which is why don't you give me $10,000? I give you words. I mean, when you want your $10,000 back, I sit with you for one year to get the money. <laughs> I sit with you for one year until you're happy with words. I give you one year of knowledge to get that fucking ten thousand dollars off you. <laughs> I give you ten years of my time to get that fucking ten thousand dollars off you. I never fucking give you that money back that you give me. <laughs> I'll make sure I give you more words than it. <laughs> do you understand? Which that's what you guys have to do. In a sense, that's the whole point, yeah. I mean, learn the skills, mate. And learn to delay giving them back the money. So you can go and fucking prosper, mate. I mean, give them fucking words, mate. I mean, words is more. But actually, guess what happens? I mean, most people go to a seminar and they give thousands of dollars or whatever amount of dollars. And they say zero, I mean, they say zero words to that person that is public speaking or doing the concert. And that's it. But other people give money for VIP tickets. And they go to backstage and they get to meet this person. And now guess what? I mean, VIPs are VIPs because you get to meet in person those people to talk words, yeah? But those people who are never VIPs never want to talk words with those people. I mean, all they want to do is sit in the back, like everybody else, to watch the show. I mean, they want to watch the show to never talk words to the famous people because they're at the back of the line. I mean, you understand? But the front of the line, when the front of the line gives $10,000, to talk words to that person on the stage. I mean, why is that? Because it's the words, and it's never the money. I mean, it's the, I mean, it's the exchange of words that you want. And it's never the money. And it's never the money. I mean, you understand? I mean, it's really the exchange of words between you two that lasts forever. And that's what you're giving the money for. I mean, you're giving to talk words. I mean, you're giving $10,000 to sit at the front row, to watch whatever it is, or to watch some person, to be a VIP, to go dinner with them, to sit down and talk is why you give $10,000. And you're never giving $10,000 to be around this person, but you're giving $10,000 to speak words to this person. Say so yes, and that's why you give money. You give, I realize you give money to speak words to people and never fucking to be sucking their dick. You understand? <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake. Oh, I mean, that's what you need to do, guys. So make sure you understand that what you want out of life is to succeed and making sure that always that you're learning the quick art of satisfaction and making sure that you are honest with yourself that you can understand that you're learning how to grow